In the game engine development video number 3, making a sandbox game, we are to create a new project. That is when we are going to do things a bit different. Before we add a new project to our current engine project, we are going to select Q5 at the menu bar. From there we are going to select Q options. From the Q option you notice it is empty. That is because we have not associated a QMake file with Visual Studio. What is a QMake file? It's a good question. You can get your answer at the QProject.org documentation. Do a quick search on Q manual and you should get your answer. Now let's go back. We we'll select add for the version name. We're just gonna call it Q5.1.1. For the path, we're gonna the path of your QMake file, which should be in where you install Qt program. I installed my program on the root drive, root directory. So I'm going to select root Qt Qt 5.1.1 select 5.1.1 finally select msvc2012 ok ok and there you have it association with our QMake Q file select ok now to add a new project we're going to right click solution add new project in the add new project dialog box you should have the option on the side that says Q5 projects we're going to select Q console application for the location we are going to place it in the same directory where our engine project is at, located at. I followed the same file structure of the video so it's going to be in my engine project file and then my project. I am going to select the folder for project files for the name let's call it cute sandbox game select OK. Now you have a wizard a project wizard we're going to select next in a project setting allows you to select different modules to add into your current project for now we're going to leave, leave it as is in a, in a later video I will go over more detail on what this does and what it do and how it can help you uh, make your project easier project development easier select finish and let Visual Studio does its thing now we have a cute project. The next step is that we're going to right click on sandbox game and we are going to convert project to QMake generate project. Select yes and from there you can double click on main.cpp to see how there's a cute framework work. This Q core is part of the cute framework. Um, we could try to run it, compile it, run it, uh, course it won't recognize as internal external command okay well that's because the engine it's selected as a startup project so we're going to fix that we're going to right click here set as startup project and let's try to compile it again and run it and when you run it you should have some kind of error like this system error the program cannot start because q5 core.dll is missing from your computer try installing the program to fix the problem I want that to happen so then you could see how to solve that okay the next step is that we have to right click on a cute sandbox game again and convert project to cute add in project. Select yes. Once you select yes, we're going to rebuild the solution. Let it finish rebuilding. Now let's try to run it. When you run it, it should have that error again. Okay? I want that error to come. That's a good sign. Okay. 
And finally, one last time, we're going to right click on the Q Sandbox game and convert project to Q make generate project again. And then let Visual Studio finish processing the conversion. You notice that it's still initializing. Once that's done, we're going to rebuild our project and we're gonna run it and voila it works that's it uh, the re reason why you have to generate it is because it has to be converted to the Q framework and from there you can toggle back and forth add in project or generate a project you can toggle back and forth as you can see and I can run it again and it would work see uh, there's a reason why you could toggle back and forth between generate it and add in and you will find out for that reason in the next video but for now um, just follow the rest of video number three because he also go over other important steps and process in building this game engine uh, but the step that you can skip is when he produce the sandbox game project until the next video happy coding